welcome back to my channel so it is getting there i'm gonna be doing my 32 week update today the last one i think i did was at 28 weeks and we had left off at the high risk doctors but before i get into that i'm gonna share the app so i'm currently 32 weeks pregnant and two days and the baby is uh, the size of a honeydew right about there and as far as my weight gain currently i'm at 113 pounds i just got weighed today when i first began preg well when i first got pregnant i was 105 pounds so i was 105 pounds would before i got pregnant and i'm currently 113 pounds so yeah so my belly this is what it's currently looking like so yeah hopefully you guys can see it but that's what it is looking like and i actually went on maternity leave at 30 weeks because I don't know if this video is going to be out yet, but we had to go to the hospital again at 31 weeks because I was having contractions again. So I had to get those stopped and yeah, but I'll make, there's going to be a whole separate video going into detail with that. But yeah, that, that happened at 31 weeks. So yeah. So an update on the high risk doctor. I ended up making my appointment and I already went to it and basically everything was okay baby is actually measuring because they had told me that i was three weeks behind like measuring from like the thing to here and according to them that was three weeks behind i was three weeks behind but with the ultrasound and everything the baby is in the 40th percentile so that is really good so there's nothing to be concerned about there and i haven't gotten into preterm labor with the contractions every time i've gone i have not been like dilated or opened yet or anything like that so that's really good and yeah um sleep is absolutely not a thing for me anymore i literally like um i wake up like every 40 minutes to have to go pee so yeah and then another thing i've noticed is anytime i sneeze or like cough i like pee myself now which is so annoying sometimes so yeah that's another thing and i don't know for some reason i didn't really get a uh, morning sickness in the beginning but i feel like i'm starting to get it a little bit now yesterday i woke up like throwing up so i was like oh my god not now so today i actually went with my ob at 32 weeks and two days and we started talking of vaginal birth or c-section and i think we are I'm oh, sorry so I think we're going to be leaning towards a C-section just because she's concerned that I'm like narrow and she doesn't want the baby to get stuck. And then, yeah. So she said most likely we're going to schedule that at my 34-week appointment, which is in two weeks. So in two weeks, I guess we're going to know when baby girl's going to come. So it's crazy. It doesn't feel real. So I'm guessing she's going to schedule it for sometime at 36 to 37 weeks, the C-section. So yeah, maybe I might do one last update after that appointment or baby girl might be here by then. So yeah, guys, that's kind of all the updates I have for my 32 weeks. And I don't know, maybe by the next video I film, she might be here. I don't know, I might film some more videos, but... Just know she's coming. She's going to be here pretty soon. So yeah. I, and actually when they. um When I did the ultrasound. They told me she weighs. Three pounds and a few ounces. I don't recall exactly how many ounces. But yeah she's already three pounds and a few ounces. Which is. I was told that was pretty good. So yeah. And then we're going to do one last ultrasound. At 36 weeks. Just to see her growth. Just to make sure everything's all right and then i have the appointment on my 34 weeks and then i don't know if i'm gonna have another appointment after that i think that might be my last ob appointment 
without baby girl here here so yeah guys thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one and who knows we might have a baby or we might just do another update but thanks so much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one bye guys